Right. You know what I'm saying? Like we always do at this time, ladies and gentlemen, how y'all doing? It's your boy, Kai Dom. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Try to get this shit together, you know what I'm saying? Now, I had checked out this blogger. I'm feeling, I'm feeling his work. I'm just giving him credit, just giving him shout outs. His name is Hip Hop Buddha. That's Hip Hop B U D D H A. Now, I ain't even subscribed to his channel. I'm going to show y'all his thing. All props is do. Boom. Subscribe. Get all his notifications. This shit is dope, and he's on point. Now, I ain't finna get into what he said yet. I would oh. recommend, recommend having pick chips. Okay, listen. As we know, just before a big juke died, he sent a cryptic message to Moneybag. Yo, now I'm gonna see what the message it says. Now, I mind you. First of all, people people probably don't want to believe what I'm finna say. When they came down to CMG, Yo Gotti was the face of CMG. But ask yourself, how did Yo Gotti get the money to f start CMG? Uh, his room was by, what was his name? OG, oh, I, I'll get his name in one sec. I know they now with Young Mob. He made a song and he was dissing Gotti. And he was like, bro, motherfucking Juke was out here with the birds. You was in there watching Sesame Street. Number one. Number two, which means that money had to come from Juke. Juke was the head with the money. When Gotti was little, when I heard that he looked raised, him and Gotti grew up kind of close. Close or whatever. Um, it was rumors that they was, I forgot how it happened. They was left at home alone or some shit. And he had the fifth for his brother and all this crazy stuff. Which when I see his mother, I kind of get the story. She's a cool lady. You can tell she probably had her struggles in her life before. No disrespect to her. Um, ask yourself, why did you reach out to Moneybag, yo? I don't trust Moneybag, yo. Just like everybody was like, straight drop, straight drop. Okay, yeah, we know that straight straight drop in jail right now, if y'all ain't know that. Justin, I think his last name is Justin. Or his first name is Justin. Justin Johnson. He's in jail with the involvement of killing Dolph. Dolph was supposed to have signed this guy before. But ask yourself, how many people were put in place with these labels to infiltrate them? People don't believe in that. Maybe put maybe females like Gorilla, the Gorilla, 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 Chinchilla, Namilla. Anyway, listen. Back to the facts. Like, why would they even trust money money bag, yo? And he's a hood hopper. Nobody never gets into the fact that money bag, yo, is a hood hopper. No disrespect to you, money bag, yo. I don't bang. I rock the good rhymes. So you can't look at me like I'm an op trying to disrespect you. I'm just going by what the facts are stated. You're a hood hopper. The reason you're a hood hopper is because you was down with Young Mob. Never forget that. They got records, videos, anything with you in the videos. Big backing with them, which is a whole nother area from where Gotti them is from. So for you to go over there and sign with Gotti was kind of a whoa. Now, as I said, he mentioned something to you. I mean, he mentioned something to this guy. And I remind you, he's the biggest snake. Probably was on CMG besides Black Youngster, which I'll get into in a second, because Black Youngster is another hood hopper. This is what I'm saying. CMG was full of hood hoppers. How did y'all ever think that was going to be successful? Gorilla is even a hood hopper. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, that, that's what y'all that's what should have did. Now, now that Big Juke is gone, y'all should turn that bitch into Hood Hoppers Entertainment. Hood Hopper Entertainment. That would be the best name for CMG now. Big Juke is gone. Y'all don't rob that man for his money. And the best way was to take his money to me. 
just knock them off. And don't too many people know about this funeral that was going on, but close family and friends, and not no label friends. But now that Juke is gone, say for instance, he had a million dollars in drug money. He took his million dollars and started CMG, which came into an empire, which he flipped his money several times. Where do you think his money at right now? Do not think that it was a big loss financially. Where's Big Juke money right now? Who you think getting Big Juke money? Who you think finna get Big Juke label that he started blood, sweat, and tears over? Because I can show you some things where he wasn't even feeling Gotti like that. Now, look, I'm going to get into this here. And notice one thing what he say, right? He say family. And then I'm going to show you how he didn't really respect Gotti like that. In life, the ones you think you love you the most will be the ones who hurt you in the end. Trust no one. Always remember that never put your all in no one, not even family. This helped me get through life. Always depend on God and self. Survival of the weakest. Money bag, yo, say, I felt that. Did you know that he kept saying family, family, family? Now, shouts out to all, all Urban Central. Now, check this out. This is how he really felt about Gotti. And he know that Gotti was trying to play him and take his shit over. Listen. Don't get no bigger than me, man. Yeah. Look, Gotti, this is my little brother. So he's not bigger than me. <laughs> so y'all go tell him everybody. COG Live and yo, Gotti. I need my new shit, bro. The f wrong child, man. I rip this shit like a f man. I dab about this shit, man. I tell you now. ASAP. Y'all do me a favor. Go at that CMG delay, man. Yo, got it off. And I forgot about my little sister, them two. Big Glow and Layla. Y'all don't get away either. Y'all come clean like the washing machine, too. I don't give a f what color it is. I'm a glow rider and whatever else y'all brand is. You know, the motherfucker be pink, whatever color. It don't matter. Y'all come yeah, clean, clean too. too. I need to be ripping all, all the brands, brand. man. Hey, hey, look, now, did you know he said Glorilla called your Gotti little Gotti? So they ain't nothing bigger than me. How the fuck we going to sit here and hear that the truck that has something to do with his death has something, has something to do with Glorilla, the same person he called out? Called out, right here, look. Second name, Glorilla. 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 Glorilla pump. She a pimp? Okay. Yeah, that bitch was a crackhead with swans running around her. That bitch is not a crack. That bitch is not a pimp. She's a scam. But anyway, for real, for real. Let's get real. Y'all don't think that is weird. He called out Gotti. He called out Glorilla. He told them, CMG the label. I don't know who the middle name is. But that's probably the other person that was on the CMG label. But listen. Peep game. You don't think that he was saying that they was trying to play him for money already? Y'all got me with this old ass chain. This is the old motherfucking label um, thing. Where's my new chain? Where's my iced out new chain? I'm going to die about this shit. Rest in peace, Big Juke. Because you know what? That you did. But before we get off of rest in peace to Juke, no disrespect. Because he, he's gone. He's out of here. He's gone. Last year. Now, you had straight drop brother. Straight drop brother swore to God he was finna get out of jail the other day. He swore to, this is why I'm trying to tell y'all too. I don't believe in the juke shit. I, they had a closed casket, so nobody's gonna see juke laid in the casket. We don't know who that guy was laid on the ground shot. Because we know that they react some shit and put out videos and people just run. Man, listen, I could show y'all somebody. I, 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 trust me, if I wanna dig in my archives, I got people laid on the ground dead with fucking blood running out the head in real life. I put in, I got cloud for these black, block, a cost, got done, it's gone. And niggas will run with that shit. 
get three of my homeboys to come in and be like, damn, man, that's fucked up. Rest in peace, my dog. Ah, the world will run with it. Run with it. Now, May, he feel like he want to go into witness protection plan or some shit and testify against CMG later. I don't know. Maybe they knew that some bad was going to come to him because they knew that straight drop brother was in there telling what they call him. Um, just, uh, what was his name? Demarcus. Demarcus Tell It All Johnson. Mm-hmm. That's what I heard his name is. But yo, listen, let me show you why there is a reasonable doubt that he could be dead, right? Now, I'm, now no conspiracy. I'm just saying, listen. Listen to what was going to happen. This nigga was going to tell on Big Juke, and he was going to say that Big Juke gave him the money to kill Young Dolph. Everybody was mad at him. Even Straight Drop right now, even fuck with his brother Demarcus. It's Justin and Demarcus. Demarcus, I'm Justin, is I'm Straight Drop. But listen to his brother. Now watch this mofo. So now you get that, right? This motherfucker really told on his brother. Nah, niggas be like, I never, I never tell on my brother. Man, fuck out of here. That nigga told on his brother, man. He did it just to look himself out. He didn't do it because he, listen, he told on him, and then they told on Big Jew. And just like Now, he took the plea deal. Now, this is where I'm going to get into the, the hip-hop Buddha, right? Shouts out to Hip Hop Buddha, no disrespect, bro. Well, they need to hear what you're saying. Like, I wanted to hear what you said. But listen, check this shit out. Everybody, Everybody else, else decided to fold. And that's what happened. But now that people done started dropping like flies, and you told too soon because you thought everybody was going to get caught, you probably finna get that time that they the gay juke and any and everybody else that was finna come on to the case because now your testimony really don't mean nothing. Like, yeah, Unk paid the money. Yeah, they got the money from Unk, nigga. Unk is dead, nigga. <laughs> like, it don't even matter now. So what you, hey, Jamarcus tell it all, Johnson, they finna do you dirty, bro. <laughs> I hate to tell you. But... I hate to tell them, too. They gonna do you dirty. Now, I'm gonna get graphic. And I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna prove to you how, right? How. Yo Gotti. Seen Dolph at the cookie shop. He called Black Youngster. Black Youngster said out his own mouth. Or oh, if somebody called and said they see somebody done beefing with, I get straight at him. I'm going to let you hear this. I'm going to take this screen off. And I'm going to let you hear this. But first of all, note one thing. Look. See why he's standing there? Look. There go your guy. Um, there go money bag, your truck right there, right? So he the one who spotted him. He spotted him, right? When he spotted him, look, show you again. That's his truck ride by. So he the one spotted Dolph out there showboating and shining. See? There you go, right there. Boom. Yeah, for commentation and purpose. Now, you seen Gotti spotted Dolph. And look what Black Youngster said he'll do. I think Young Gotti gave him the call. Like, bro, I don't know. If I get a car, I'm beefing with, with you. And I get a car, I, I just sign home. I'm pulling right up. up. You know what I'm saying? And this how, and this how it is what I was on. So now, would it make sense, right? Yo, Gotti spotted him. Called Black Youngster. Black Youngster came on out. The Dutta Man. Came right on out and put it out there. Yeah, man, somebody called me and say that they seen somebody da 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 da. I get right at them. And Lord behold. Lord behold. There we go. You get what I'm saying? And Dolph never saw him behind him. But that's how Memphis is. He just happened to be right. He probably was going to go to the cookie shop and see him. Probably was going to pick up some money for Big Juke because I heard that Big Juke did business with that cookie shop allegedly. I'm not sure. Allegedly. Big Juke did business with Makita's cookie, cookie shop after Dolph's death. And that's alleged. I don't, that's for entertainment purposes. I don't know. Just alleged. But would it make sense? Now, Straight Drop Brother told on everybody. 
And that was straight drop, little head ass, run around that car, that, that shot young dolph or whatever, whatever. Now ask yourself, a lot of people said they don't think that Dolph is dead. So why would these people be in jail and telling on each other and fighting for their freedom if not? I mean, sometimes we could believe some conspiracy theories, right? Now, maybe Dolph wasn't killed on that site in that location. Maybe he wasn't killed at that moment. Maybe this incident right here happened on a whole nother term. Because listen, what if it happened this particular day right here and Dolph was carried back there and put in there? That's why there was no blood on the crime scene. Because I seen a fake ass blogger said that whole lot. Look, these are good cons conspiracy theories that could be used in real life. Black youngsters carried young Dolph's body, carried young Dolph's body from the Bentley to Makita's money bag, yo, waited for Raven. How real is that? We did see, money, even though we know this nigga be lying his ass off, but. We did see that, and we did say Raven had something to do with it, and she was screaming that she wanted to fuck with CMG. You understand what I'm saying? But at the same token, that man truck was spotted there. Look. Young dog followed by money bag, yo, Bentley. So why money bag, yo, not in jail? And I truly believe that he followed him there. I truly believe it. I do. Because we seen the truck ride by. Truck roll by with the booming system. Truck roll by. Uh, truck roll by with the booming system. Truck roll by. Yep, I believe it. I'm sorry. Just from what I saw, why not? Because why was money back Joe truck? And let me tell you something. If I'm not mistaken, he gave that truck to his baby mama. You know what I'm saying? He gave the truck to his baby mama. So, you hear what, 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 what youngster said? Oh, somebody called me and said, this is my before. I pull right up. Maybe you ain't pull up. Maybe they got straight drop to do it. And then, and then, on top of all of that, a whole other reason why they can't even trust money back, yo, because he's a hood hopper. Back in the day when you was young, you're not no kid anymore. But some days we sit and wish you was a kid again. Back in the day when you was just a little nigga, bro. Everybody thinking you could you could can bigger how when he went up with girls he money bag you with the gray hat on and you see he was with young mob and then and then what was so fucked up now young mob done teamed up with goddamn pre she got all them niggas with pre she gonna get turned up in motherfucking on um, Memphis money bag yo you not safe that's why Juke will call you because Juke knew. That you was the one who spotted Dolph. You probably got the money from Big Juke to pay them off. And I believe that money bag, yo, because like you look at him, he a doofy ass, like he could be a fucking cartoon character from The Simpsons or so. I said, 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 I We don't need that shit. We don't got no space for that shit in hip hop, bro. Take that shit back. They, but that's how they got to give him his money. Let them put a corny ass song out, pay the radio stations, get on these internet things and boost up the revenue sales and get fake ass viewers and all this bullshit to make them like he's really popping. Oh, money bag, yo, chick got a million views. Yeah, they paid for the million views, probably $10,000. $10,000. And then they gonna take the rest and pay him for, for killing, setting up Young Dolph. But then, like I said, they can't even trust him because he's a hood hopper. These dudes, uh, these dudes don't fuck with Yo Gotti. Look. Shouts out to Memphis. Hold on. Shouts out to Memphis topic. Yeah, he was dissing Yo Gotti. You understand what I'm saying? The man dissing Yo Gotti, and then all of a sudden, money bag Yo pops up and sound with, 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 with Yo Gotti. They use a fucking straight hood hopper. Listen. This man was dissing Yo Gotti. I'm going to get to the part where he dissed the rock. Now, once again. Money back, yo, with the ops. But now all of a sudden, you over there with Yo Gotti. 
Don't trust these calm. And that's why the motherfucking bunch girls like he's a snake. It's talking about this nigga. And that's why somebody said some OG nigga had something to do with Big Juke. Because the OG hold up. Let me explain. Wait a minute. Wait. There's more. And before I go, like I said, we can go on for days. Black youngster. Um, the OG dude came home from Young Mob. They said he was gonna do something to money back, yo, which I ain't never seen that happen. I just feel like he's a hood hopper. They sent him there to infiltrate. Everybody who came there was from a different set. I don't know, uh, um, um, fucking black youngster was a vice lord. Come on. And this is what Big Juke Mama had to say about him at one of the parties. She was explaining that he was the firstborn, so she made more mistakes. But they was praising him because he was a dope boy of the family. Listen. And I'm, I'm explaining to my daughter, because Mario is not here, I was explaining to her that this was my firstborn. I had all my mistakes. Everything I did wrong was with him. This was my firstborn. And then when I had Mario, Lil Robert, y'all don't know about Lil Robert, I lost a son, Lil Robert, Mario, then Pooh, then I knew to do better. But him... I don't know y'all want to do this live, but I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> but with him, with him, you know, my dope house got kicked in. He was right, right. with me. They were, my only, they were my only son. I kept him with me everywhere I went. Hold, hold, hold up. But I'm just letting you know, college you student. You know, I'm just letting you know. He was what? in the dope house with me. Yeah. Uh, with yeah. me. You know what I'm saying? I knew that wasn't the right thing to do, and I learned and I did better yeah. when I had Lil right. Robert, right. Mario, and Pooh. But keep, keep now, what if Juke was selling dope for his mother? She said she had dope houses that was getting kicked in left and right. What if she passed the torch over them? That's why she said she knew it wasn't right what she did to them. Cause she, she the plug. She probably was the plug. He was with me when three, four dope houses got kicked in, and I blame myself to this day for his lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Because he seen what I did, and I would get money in the streets. We do that lifestyle. Now, as far as young dog. You heard them say that's the lifestyle we living right here. This is how long that, that the Memphis police been trash. Yeah, because if you if you ask any of them, they don't know none of this at all. But if you from Memphis, man, you already know. So why did B Big Jug make this IG post? Why did he send Money Bag Yo this message? I don't know, man. But due to the fact that you have Young Mob and PRE together as one right now, like I said, I wouldn't recommend having Big Chuck funeral in Memphis. We talking about some dudes that don't care, bruh. Can't nothing fix this. Can't no money fix it. Can't no sit down fix it. can't be fixed, bruh. It's too far gone especially after the loss of Dolph and especially after the young mob member was lost and apparently Money Bag Yo ended up being cool with some people that had something to do with this young mob member getting taken out. But y'all get in the comment box, box man. man. Let me Let know me what y'all think about all, all this. this and like I said, Money Bag Yo name is in mad shit. He the one who gave that motherfucking location. He the one who told them where the motherfucker, where, he told black youngster where to go get him at. And now all of a sudden, I don't feel like that he's going to be safe. And like I said, Demarcus Johnson, straight drop brother, he snitched on him. I'm just going through the run through. That boy sat right here in corner and told everything need to be said. So you like, share, subscribe, and you leave your, leave your comments down and let me know what you think. Sorry to keep saying you like that. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think that this war is over? Do you think that everybody is settled out? Or do you think it's going to be more killing? Do you think that CMG, 
big juke hit was an inside job do you think that Dolph killer was an inside job but we know it was because straight drop is in jail for it right now his brother even say he had something to do with it i'm gonna leave it here y'all hit the like button if you're not a subscriber please become a subscriber if you're not a paid member become a paid member thank you i will be going live hopefully later on today but i'll be so busy lately i can't get it done but i have time to make my videos so this is your boy Kyle Saddam. i'm gone